I love this city. I think the energy, it's so amazing and so nice. Uh, the people are, they, they open like your arms and they, you feel like a family. I'm very happy to be living here and uh, I'm very um, proud of my country and I'm very excited to be living in Madrid. My name is Paula Badosa and I'm from Spain. My family was living in US 15 years in New York. They were working there and well, I was born there and I lived until I was seven years old. And then uh, we decided to come back to Spain. My whole family is from Spain. And then it's there when I started to play tennis. Not so many Spanish players won that tournament before, I think one player. So um, it was quite big here in Spain and they were putting a lot of pressure on me and everything came like super fast. They were like expecting the next year like to change from junior to pro and to be like top 20, top 10. And it was too much because I wasn't prepared, not even mentally, but not even my tennis was prepared to be on that level. A lot of times I had like depression, anxiety and all these kind of things during quite a few years. And uh, one of the things I regret maybe in that moment is I was very closed on myself and I didn't talk to too much people and I, I didn't ask for help. That was maybe one of the things that I could change. I think it's important when you speak and when you talk about all these things and you turn them like normal because they're normal. Suddenly you're like closed in a room with uh, no windows, nothing to train uh, during 21 days. I came out and I had three days to prepare for the Australian Open. So it was almost impossible. I did a three hours match, I don't know how. But after that match, my energy went like super down, super low in that first two months of the year. I think Charleston was a little bit the click. Sometimes you have this match, you win a very good match. It's the win of her career. She's taken down the world number one Ash Barty. Your head is like, okay, I won number one in the world. Now I can believe I can win any match. Go for it. Go for that point, be aggressive. That's how I train and that's how my coach wants me to play. Self-confidence is what clicked because the work was there. I knew that it could come, but I, I, I wasn't expecting that that fast. I couldn't believe what was happening, but I was just hearing like all the crowd getting crazy. And I got like so emotional because slowly I was like, I, I just won one of the biggest tournaments in the entire world. What could be better than dreams of success? How about when those dreams become reality? I remember doing all these results and like super like released, like finally after a lot of years maybe struggling or not being where I was dreaming or I was wishing. It was like my time is coming. I'm very lucky that I have an amazing team. This is my coach, Jorge, um, Ariam, my PR, and uh, my boyfriend, Juan. During training weeks, we always have like one or two dinners together because it's always very intense on the tournaments and tennis and talking about next goals and pressure. So to have fun with each other, it's, it's nice. <laughs> Show a lot of emotions and I, I think I'm like that off court as well. I'm super active. I like to do a lot of things. I like to spend time with my friends. I think I'm similar as you see myself on court. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself because I just beat my boyfriend, so that was the most important thing. <laughs> I always wanted to be one of the best players in the world, and I think that's what keeps me motivated and what keeps me inspired and working hard every day.